This script is Killing Time, written by Paul Saracci, uh, it, and it has two characters, a therapist that's a, a seasoned uh, professional and a, a young defiant man that's been mandated to do therapy. The scene opens in the office of the therapist. This, uh, this therapy thing is um, it's pretty much bullshit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> for some people, yes. Is it for you? Yeah, I just said it was. Then why are you here? My PO said it looked good for the judge when my, uh, when my case comes out. So you're here to look good for the judge? Yeah, pretty much. Then get out. Wait. Throwing me out? Yes, sir. I don't do mandated sessions for kids who are just killing time. Now that's bullshit. Are you, are you allowed to curse? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you guys, uh, therapists, could curse. Now you know. So beat it. Hey, I mean, I already, already paid for the session, though. Yeah? <laughs> Here's your check. Don't let the door smack you in the ass on your way out. Hey, what's your problem? I'm not what I'm not the one with the PO or the criminal record. Bitch. I've been called worse. Asshole. Perhaps. But it ain't gonna be my ass that's standing before a judge waiting to hear your sentence. Look, I'm not here to coddle you. Yeah, you know, I don't need you to hold my hand, but I paid you to talk to me. Actually, uh, I thought this was your parents' check. And if you don't want it... I don't want it. Neither do I. So, what do you want? How about some respect? Hmm. You give it, you get it. And you were the one who started cursing. Uh-huh. Am I hearing things, or did you just call me a bitch and an asshole? Yeah, after you told me to fuck off? Hold on. What I said was, fuck yeah, which is not the same as fuck you. Hell, it's awful close, don't you think? Let's cut to the chase here. Just say it. Say what? We don't like each other. So what, you don't like me? <laughs> what, was I hiding that? Yeah, well, I thought your job was to... Um... Try and understand me. You seem to know my job pretty well. What about your job? I don't worry about my job. You just do your damn job. How about that? And write you a nice letter for the judge and let him know what you're doing. You're doing therapy and things are going to swell between us. Is that my job? Yeah, that's right. That's the system. I only work the system for some somebody who's willing to work with me. What do you want from me? Tell me something. Like what? What do you want me to know about you? I, my court date's tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> so you really thought this thing through and planned ahead? Shut up. Just shut up. I'd be glad to. Then you better start talking. Why aren't you supposed to, uh, like, ask me some questions or something? Or okay. What's your name, son? I'm not your son, and you know my name. So what kind of shitty question is that? And, and it's 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 on the damn probation that they uh, the report they sent you. So you know my name. Let me ask it a different way. What do your friends call you? You ain't my friend. Agreed, but that can change. Yeah, now is that gonna happen? You make a different choice, then different things happen. You got something for me that's gonna, I don't know, turn my life around or something? I don't do magic. <laughs> this shit, man, you don't even do therapy either. You want a better question? How's your life going right now? Is it working for you? I'll take that as a no. So maybe then, 
what you want to do now is, I don't know. What did you, did you even read the report? Huh? Like, do you know anything about me? I did. I know you like boxing. Yeah, I sure do. Yeah. I like to get in the ring, beat the shit out of people. Sounds like you found a way to channel your aggression. Hell yeah. And I'm good at it too. So you got skills in the ring. So now it's outside the ring. You got to step up your game. Hey, you gonna, you gonna help me with that, huh? Not so fast. Let's stick with the boxing. You heard of a fighter, uh, Mike Tyson? <laughs> yeah, sure, I've heard of him. He's one of the best. He's a goddamn monster in the ring. But he was before your time. Yeah, well, I've seen all the documentaries on him. So you like the guy? Yeah, he was a mean motherfucker. He bit that guy's ear off and he spit it out on the mat. Yep, he was having a bad night because Holyfield wouldn't let him fight his fight. Yeah, well, he kept holding on to Michael. He was some damn wrestling match, and then the other guy kept giving him headbutts, so it was, it was bullshit. Yeah, that's, that's right. Tyson Eyes was just about swollen shut from the headbutts. Yeah, and the other guy, he had the, the ref in his damn pocket. You know, the, the fight was fucking rigged, man. Yeah, so Tyson freaked out and took a bite of the, out of the guy's eye. Hell yeah, and I would have done the same damn thing. Yeah, but that choice he made cost him the fight. Got him a fine, and they kicked him out of boxing for a while. Yeah, so what the hell has all this got to do with me? Hmm? Think about it. I ain't Mike Tyson. Uh-huh. So what's your point? Did I say I had a point? <laughs> Well, if you ain't got no point, then why are you telling me the damn story? If you're not interested, then let's just, uh, let's just quit it. The hell, man, just, just finish your damn story. Okay. So, let's just suppose now it's you and me and we're in the ring. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> you you want to fight me? Did I say that? Listen to me now. Say it's you and me, and we're fighting. Who are you, Tyson or Holyfield? I'm nobody. Oh, I disagree. You're somebody. You got to be somebody. So who are you? Uh, I'll pick Tyson, because then I might beat your ass for all your foolishness. OK, let's go with that. Are you angry like he was that night? Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking pissed because you ain't doing your job. Or maybe you're pissed because you can't make the fight go the way you want it to. I, I didn't come here to fight you. That's right. You came here for a letter I can't give you. Liar, you, you could do that for me if you wanted to, right now. I guess I could. So how does that feel? How does what feel? You came here wanting to fight your kind of fight, but it's not working. How does that feel? I mean, don't be stupid. You see how I feel. No, what I, I see what I see, but I'm not seeing it through your eyes. I need your help here to see it through your eyes. Are you, are you, you want my help? Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna file a complaint about you. Uh, you mean like Mike tried to do with the ref that night? He complained plenty, plenty of times to the ref, but how did that go for him? Yeah, the ref didn't listen. You are not listening. Nobody fucking listens. Hmm. Now who's the liar? Cause I'm listening, waiting for you to sell, tell me something real. Yeah, you read the report, what, what else you wanna know? Is that you? That punk I read about, flunking out of school, getting in the fight, robbing people? Is that all you are? Yup, yup, that's who I am. I'm not buying that. Look, I, I did what I did, it's, it's, 
It's all down there written for you, all right? Right. And there's nothing else to you but that. Well, you want me, you want me to make shit up? Like, like I got uh, uh, fucking potential or, or dreams? Sure. Use your imagination. Dream a little if you want. <laughs> you know, dreams, they're for rich people. No, I didn't know it cost you money to have a dream. Let me write that down in my notebook. Yeah, dreams are for fucking losers, man. <laughs> so that make you a winner? If they're not for you, are you a winner? And make your case, because I'm listening. Look, I ain't one shit. Well, you want me to get real with you? Sure. I, I think you already made up your mind about who I am before I even walked through that door. You know, I was going to say the same thing about you for me. God damn it. You, this is so fucking lame. Why, why, why do we got to do this dance? Why are we doing this? Your parents gave you a check. I took it. And here we are on the dance floor. But we sure ain't dancing, are we? Is that all me? That all me? The silence is deafening. What you ain't getting from my words, maybe you'll get from my silence. That's OK. <laughs> we streets don't waterboard people when they stop talking. <laughs> well, was that supposed to be funny? A little, but you can take it any way you want. What I want, I want out of this room, never to see your fucking face again. You know, sometimes I look in the mirror and I think the same thing. Are you making another joke? <laughs> Maybe you should get into comedy because you, you sure as ain't no goddamn fucking therapist. And if I were Tyson right now, I'd beat your ass real good. Maybe even bite off your fucking ear and spit it out on the floor. No, you wouldn't. If you were Mike Tyson today, he wouldn't make that choice. You want to know why? No. But I'm pretty sure you're going to tell me. Yeah. See, Tyson married, ended up, wound up married to a good woman. And what do you know? He's been seeing a therapist for years, talking out some of the pain and the sadness that got stuck inside of him when he was just a kid like you. And we only saw his pain come out when he fought. It took him a while. But he finally opened up and let that poison go. What about you? Nah, I, I ain't know Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's right. But you may want to give it some more thought on just who you want to be. And then maybe I could be of some help to you. Look, you want to help me, then write the damn letter. Otherwise, fuck you. The young man exits, slamming the door behind him. The therapist sits back in his chair, lets out a long exhale as we fade lights, end scene.